In this video, I'll reveal our top three ActiveCampaign most recommended integrations to help you sync data across the platforms in your tech stack. Stick around till the end, and I'll also show you a bonus integration that we use to hit our next revenue goals with enhanced analytics inside ActiveCampaign. I'm Jason, Growth Specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's check it out. Now, before we go into our top recommended integrations for Active Campaign, it's important to understand first how you'll go about integrating these platforms with your Active Campaign account. Okay, so first we've got native integrations, uh, and then second, we've got a platform like Zapier. So this is what you'll use to integrate the different platforms so that essentially they can talk to each other. And the first would be natively using the apps inside of Active Campaign. So in your Active Campaign dashboard, in the bottom left above settings, you have apps and you can see all of the different apps that integrate natively with Active Campaign here. Okay, and you can add them in. Now this can be great for adding in custom objects, which I'll show you in a second uh, with one of our recommendations as an example, but we're typically going to use Zapier. Uh, there are other platforms like Make, which used to be Integromat. And that's because it allows for more flexibility and typically passes uh, more information from one platform to the other that you can then use in different ways. And again, it's a bit more flexible. So we're going to use a platform like Zapier. You can check out this video here for how to set up your uh, Zapier account and connect it with Active Campaign. Now, it's important to note for Zapier, uh, there are these integrations, which we'll go over here, our top recommendations. But you can also get a developer on your team or someone who understands APIs uh, and basically get them to use webhooks or HTTPS modules. And that opens a wide range of doors. You can connect uh, platforms, even if they don't have their app available in Zapier or natively in ActiveCampaign. Uh, if they have an open API, you can still connect the two using these modules here. I didn't include them in the list below uh, because these are going to be a bit more straightforward for setting up, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, and they're still going to be very useful, even if you're a more advanced user. So let's get into our top active campaign integrations now. Now, the first integration that we're going to recommend is Calendly. So for our funnel, we think of it from the top to the bottom. Somewhere to the top, we have potential customers and prospects booking calls with us. And we want to be able to add those people who book calls as contacts in active campaign. OK, so if I look at the native integration with Calendly in active campaign, you can see here that we're able to add specific tags that are you know, given to us based on the specific event in Calendly that someone has booked a call for. And another thing I love about the native integration is that if I go into my contacts and I'll just look up myself. If I scroll down here, you'll see this custom object here, which is an entire section for Calendly events once you've connected your Calendly app to your active campaign account. So you get the event type, event date and time, the event location, event details, and the status. So all of that gets stored inside the contacts profile and their personal info. And we also still use on top of that, the Zapier integration uh, with Calendly because it allows us to manipulate the data a bit more and uh, use that for triggers in our automations elsewhere, pass more data uh, than the native uh, integration allows us to pass. So it's a bit more flexible. So that's the first one, Calendly. For your business, maybe this would look like Shopify if you're an e-com store. Uh, maybe it would be EverWebinar or Webinar Jam if you're using a webinar and you want to be able to pass your lead data, your, your contact data into Active Campaign. Um, but this is one of our top recommended integrations if you have a sales team or if you're taking calls and you need that information in your contacts in Active Campaign. Our second most recommended app for Active Campaign is Stripe. Moving down the funnel now, someone makes a purchase and you want to be able to sync the customer data in Stripe with Active Campaign. So again, there is a native integration with Stripe and Active Campaign. And if I go to the uh, integration here, you can reduce manual work, notifying teams about refunded orders, uh, automatically trigger upgrades, welcome new subscribers, etc. And you can pass their payment data from Stripe directly into Active Campaign. Uh, and we are going to use that for information around uh, subscribers, new subscribers, 
payments made, uh, failed payments, so we can trigger certain automations and email follow-up, uh, nurture sequences, payment reminders, et cetera, inside Active Campaign based on events that take place inside of Stripe. So that is our second most recommended Active Campaign integration of the Stripe payment platform. Finally, our number three top most recommended integration would have to be Google Sheets. Okay, you can send data to Google Sheets for organization, for basic reporting, or as part of a multi-step integration. You can use it to organize and then pass that data on to another app uh, very easily using Google Sheets. So if I click into the Google Sheets native integration, you'll see it here in the apps. And as it says, you can eliminate manual data entry and get the data that you need. You can connect your active campaign account to any number of Google Sheets, use it to trigger automations, et cetera, create new rows in a Google Sheets. Uh, this is a two-way integration, which can push contact data from your active campaign into a Google Sheet and vice versa. Uh, and we also use the integration inside Zapier for this uh, as well. So we have it natively and we also have it in Zapier to, again, be able to manipulate and adjust the data that we're sending between the two platforms. Now, I mentioned I'd have a bonus for you, and our last top recommended active campaign integration has to be Wild Metrics. Now, this is an app that we've developed ourselves. This allows you to use insights and benchmarks to achieve your next MRR goal faster with marketing analytics, and it's going to be best if you are a B2B SaaS company. So jumping into Wild Metrics, and you can see here the dashboards. It only takes five minutes for you to start making better decisions with Wild Metrics because you can integrate your marketing stack with just one click each platform. And I'll show you how that works. If I were to click Get Started, I would be taken to a process uh, that would allow me to sign up with an email or Google. And then when you connect your account, all you have to do is paste in your Active Campaign URL and your API key. You can find that inside uh, Settings. I'll show you here settings and developer. I'm not going to click it because that is sensitive information that you don't want to uh, share with anyone. But inside developer, you'll see your unique API key. You want to use that of the account owner and then the API URL. And you simply paste that into the fields in Wild Metrics, and it'll start syncing all of your data, uh, all of your tags, custom fields, list data, et cetera, from Active Campaign into Wild Metrics. And then you can use that to report on your revenue by tags, revenue by automations, and revenue by email marketing campaigns. So those are our top most recommended active campaign integrations. If you have any questions about those integrations or need some recommendations for your own specific case, just let us know. Drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help out.